Welcome to another tutorial by Sierra Tech on how to use iTunes version 12 to add music to your iPhone using the playlist feature. In version 12 iTunes, Apple has made many changes to the navigation procedure for music and your iPhone. The principles, however, are the same as version 11 of iTunes and the videos we did for it. So this is an updated video on how to take a recently ripped CD into the iTunes library and add it to an existing playlist or how to create a new playlist and drop it on the iPhone. We are running version 12.2.1.16 of iTunes. What I have here is in my recently added music to my iTunes library is an album by Harrison Edwards. I select playlist and you will notice I have a playlist that's currently selected called iPhone. Maybe not the best name for a playlist. You can name a playlist by genre or seasonal such as Christmas music. So if I want to create a new playlist I'll click on the plus symbol and click play new playlist and I'm just going to say test and the playlist appears in the left hand side so I recently updated my iPhone and I want to add music to it I want to add the playlist called iPhone to my iPhone but I, before I do that, I want to make sure I have the new album that I've recently added. So you scroll to the top, go back to music, and here is the recent album that I ripped to the iTunes library. And I'll scroll down here, and I'm going to click and drag and drop on the playlist called iPhone. And when I click it, it shows the number 12 in the lower right-hand corner of the thumbnail. That's how many songs are in the album and drop it. Now when I select iPhone, you'll see that it exists here. And if I single click, you can see all the songs that were included in this album. So now with the new navigation, how do I get the music onto my iPhone? Well, let's click over to iPhone first. Scroll down. Make sure you have manually managed music and videos checked. If sync only check songs and videos is the current selection, uncheck that. But be aware that it will probably erase all your music and videos that exist on your iPhone. So be cautious about that. But if you manually manage your music and videos, as we have shown here, at any time I can add music to my iPhone without having to go through the whole synchronization process. So let's go back to music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the iPhone playlist to my iPhone device. Now, as it used to show up here, here is devices. Here you can see our iPhone. And the only playlist that's in there is voice memos currently. So I'm going to take this click, drag, and hover until it turns blue just like that and drop it. Click on the iPhone icon to view the status. You can see that it's copying 375 songs to the iPhone. 
So we're going to pause the video. Okay, so we have completed adding a playlist or 375 songs to the iPhone. And in the future, if we want to add a new album, we simply rip the album to iTunes, add it to the playlist, and then drag, if we were to add it to the iPhone playlist, we simply would drag it up again and drop it on here. It'll ask if you want to replace the playlist. You say yes, and it'll simply add the additional music that you just added to your playlist. So it works very much the same as iTunes 11, just with some cosmetic changes and navigation changes that Apple has done. Not necessarily for the better, but at least the procedures are the same. We hope this helps you understand how to import your playlist to your iPhone. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.